Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in, my planner friends. This is Michelle from Siwi Kisses, and in this video, I'm going to share with you step by step my moleskin pocket planner setup and some of the little additions that I like to add when starting a new notebook. Now, if you haven't seen my 2020 planner lineup video, I will put that here in the note card above so you can get a better idea of why I chose this little pocket size notebook as an everyday carry for my daily plans um, but to summarize it if you don't have time to watch it basically this size the convenience and the pages are the main factors as to why I wanted to give this a try I love that it's soft cover so it's very flexible if I need to add anything in here or if I need to flip this notebook around and just write it if I'm in a confined space. So I am excited to give this notebook a try for the new year as I've really enjoyed using this uh, red one. Uh, originally I was using this as like notes and scribbling you know quotes and ideas but somehow throughout the months it just kind of transformed into a little pocket diary slash uh, tracker for me and I really enjoyed the process so throughout these weeks I'm going to share with you what I liked about this what worked and what didn't and the tools that will help me turn this into an everyday bullet journal so this is the cover that you'll want to look for if you plan on getting this for yourself. It's by Moleskin. It's the 2020 Daily Journaler. So when you're looking for this notebook online or in the store, make sure you get the daily version because that is what offers the one, uh, the date on one page. So you have the whole year, that's why it's so thick, the whole year in this little bound book and each day with the date broken down on one page along with the timeline here on the side if you want to track down your schedule. Okay, so let's get started with the setup. What I'm going to do, the number one thing that I love about any type of planner are side tabs. So these are already added on here. It does not come with the notebook, but it was, um, you know, it was just quicker for me to put it on here than just show you. This is by the Traveler's Company. If you're interested in their sticker set, I will link that down below. I enjoy using them because it has the month on one side and then it has the numbered date of the month uh, on the other side and they're nice and flexible. So if I have this in my purse, um, I won't have to worry about it actually, you know, wearing out where I know some cardboard tabs kind of get like that worn out look. This is pretty sturdy and it's really flexible. So I like it for that reason. All right, so first things first, as you could see, the notebook is very plain. I like to have some type of sticker on here, something a little bit more eye-catching to make it fun for me to use. If you're a regular viewer, you may remember, uh, I think like a few years back, I did my original Moleskin Pocket setup video in this card, and I had some cute stickers set up. So I'm basically going to do the same thing with this. But first, one thing that I do realize is that I'm going to be using a pen clip holder. So I don't want the stickers to be in the way of these little clips. So once I put these on the notebook, it'll give me a general idea of where I can place my first sticker. And if you're interested in this gold pen hook, I will leave it linked down below. It's by the Hobonichi brand and this silver one is by Muji. But actually I found that Amazon sells a whole set of these, uh, like a whole pack of like six or eight for under 10 bucks. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below as well. Now in the upcoming videos, I'll explain why I have these two pen clips, but basically one is going to be like a permanent pen that I know that I'll need to use for important tasks, which is pretty much going to be like my red pen here. And then this gold clip is going to be used for any type of, um, you know, just regular everyday black ink pen. So it works like this where the hook here keeps the pen close to the notebook and it's really really sturdy so that is why I love these I was thinking about buying the little sticker with the elastic loop here but in my experience when I hook it on I'm like trying so hard to like wiggle it out and it's just really hard and such a hassle so 
it just uh, slides off and then I can easily slide it on like this. But um, even if this wiggles off, it's not going to be, you know, ripping any of the, the well, the adhesive isn't going to be ripping like the back pocket or my pages. So, and I actually use this with my 2019 pocket notebook and I was in Korea and I was out and about with my notebook throwing stuff in there and this just never got loose. So this is like my tried and true little product that I really enjoy using and I look forward to keeping it up for 2020. Okay, so now that I have an idea of where the pen loop is going to be placed, I know that if I want to add any type of label or stickers, it kind of has to be in an area where it won't interfere with these. So I'm going to use this little label maker here, or not a label maker, it's just like a label sticker. This is my favorite. I bought like a whole pack of these in Korea and a lot of you are curious to know where I got these. Okay, so now that I know that the pen hook is going to be somewhere on the top, I don't want to place this too high up. So I'm going to kind of place it somewhat in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to press that on like so. And there I have my first sticker for the cover. If you have a sticker stash like I do, go through whatever stickers that pretty much, you know, make you smile or that will make your notebook cute and motivate you to use it. So for this little label sticker, I was going to use a, la a label maker and add on the word here, but I found that this little sticker pack had the cutest label and it's perfect because that's exactly what this is, my little pocket notebook. I'm just gonna add this on here. Okay. Oh, that K kind of <laughs> is off on the edge there, but that's okay. So now that I have that added, I think what I want to do is add some type of sticker here in the corner. And because this cover is dark, I know I'm going to want to use a lighter color to kind of give that pop of contrast. So this little tire is perfect. So cute. I got this sticker set in Korea too. It says a hung. <laughs> and we'll just pretty much put this right here and then this little girl oh i think she's so cute <laughs> she's basically uh these are in korean here but she's saying like oh my gosh i just want to buy everything so that is so me when it comes to stationery that oh <laughs> so cute so i'm going to probably put it okay just press that right there there we go it's coming along so between the pen hooks and my new stickers it's already looking pretty not busy but you know eye popping and now the next setup that i'm going to do in the back here i like to keep extra paper clips so that way if i need to bookmark anything it's just easier to turn to so i'm going to just clip these the back pocket is very convenient i'm going to just slide these on here the big one and then I have a smaller one and then inside the pocket oh if you're not aware this pocket moleskin comes with a few stickers so it has these letter stickers here that you can use within this notebook I never ever use these I think mostly because I forget that they're here and I don't use these little icon stickers because the monthly layout in this calendar spread is so teeny tiny I just <laughs> I'd rather just write in here and then these are my own little stickers that I will <laughs> keep and eventually use like for my probably my um, diary journal but I just kept in here so I wouldn't forget about them Okay, so one thing that I realized would be very helpful for my setup is if I had extra pages. Because this agenda only has the actual day on a page, it doesn't have extra notes here in the back. So what I actually came up with is adding some index cards. If you happen to have a Dollar Tree, I think this is where I got this, at the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, look in their little stationery or paper or school section this was 99 cents and i really like this because you can actually cut this out well more like kind of uh, rip it out here and then i can add these within the back pocket as an extra note holder so i have 
these note cards here and I like that they're lined on one side and then blank on the other and being that they're index cards I can file them when I get back to my home and organize and categorize them as they need to be whether it's for like home projects or uh, like ideas or work related whatever it is because it's just extra notes I can take it out and then just add it to the appropriate area so these additional note cards are pretty much like my extra notes to self and because they are loose I can take them out make room once these get full so that way it doesn't add to the bulk of the overall moleskin now at first I was thinking that maybe a field notes could fit and for those you may be wondering as well uh, the only thing is it is slightly wider so when you close it it kind of warps the spine here and it sticks out so clipping on a mold or a field notes in the back won't really work you'll just kind of have to place it in and sandwich it in the notebook which i don't really like so i'm glad i came across those index cards to keep track of any running thoughts okay so that is pretty much it and the last and final touch that i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to add one of my favorite gratitude affirmations here okay just kind of glue this down i actually ripped it off from one of my other notebooks that i had my um my amazon hobonichi weeks lookalike notebook so this may look familiar to some of you but this is like my ultimate favorite gratitude affirmation that I love to remind myself. So being that it's here in the front, it's just going to be a great daily reminder. This part right here, I'm probably going to fill in my personal information, such as like my email and my PO box, because I thought about using my own little sticker here. I made this for my Patreon members and I have this, you know, if found return to traveler transfer CB kisses 2019. This is the year I made it. I think, um, I'm not sure I'm undecided. I don't know if I should just write it here. I kind of like the, the pop of color, but these are pretty much what I have in all of my journals and my diaries, just in case they get lost. Not that I think they would, but I like to kind of stick these in all my, my notebooks. Okay, so there you have it. This is my Moleskin Pocket notebook as an everyday carry. This is part one of my Moleskin series. So if you are interested in seeing more, feel free to like this video or leave a comment down below if there's anything particular that you want to see moving forward. And if you're using a pocket notebook or planner, share down below what it is and how you've been enjoying it so far. We can all be inspired by each other. This is such a wonderful community. And shout out to my Moleskin users. I know there aren't that many of us nowadays in this digital world. So shout out to you guys if you're out there. <laughs> and that is that. I will see you guys in the next video, which I plan on posting in the next few days. So make sure that you are subscribed to the Stewie Kisses channel. Thank you. Bye.